Amoebozoa is a major taxonomic group containing about 2,400 described species of amoeboid protists, often possessing blunt, finger-like, lobose pseudopods and tubular mitochondrial cristae. In most classification schemes, Amoebozoa is ranked as a phylum within either the Kingdom Protista or the Kingdom Protozoa. In the classification favored by the International Society of Protistologists, it is retained as an unranked supergroup. Within eukaryota, molecular genetic analysis supports amoebozoa as a monophyletic clade. Most phylogenetic trees identify it as the sister group to Episticonta, another major clade which contains both fungi and animals as well as some 300 species of unicellular protists. Amoebozoa and Episticonta are sometimes grouped together in a high-level taxon, variously named Uniconta, Amorphia or Opimoda. Amoebozoa includes many of the best-known amoeboid organisms, such as Chaos, Entamoeba, Polomycia and the genus Amoeba itself. Species of Amoebozoa may be either shelled, testate, or naked, and cells may possess flagella. Free-living species are common in both salt and freshwater as well as soil, moss and leaf litter. Some live as parasites or symbiotes of other organisms, and some are known to cause disease in humans and other organisms. While the majority of amoebozoan species are unicellular, the group also includes several varieties of slime molds, which have a macroscopic, multicellular stage of life during which individual amoeboid cells aggregate to produce spores. Amoebozoa vary greatly in size. Some are only 10 to 20 micrometers in diameter, while others are among the largest protozoa. The well-known species Amoeba proteus, which may reach 800 micrometers in length, is often studied in schools and laboratories as a representative cell or model organism, partly because of its convenient size. Multinucleate amoebae like Chaos and Polomycia, the so-called giant amoebae, may be several millimeters in length, and some multicellular amoebozoa, such as the Dog vomit. Slime mold Fuligo septica can cover an area of several square meters. Morphology Amoebozoa is a large and diverse group, but certain features are common to many of its members. The amoebozoan cell is typically divided into a granular central mass, called endoplasm, and a clear outer layer, called ectoplasm. During locomotion, the endoplasm flows forwards and the ectoplasm runs backwards along the outside of the cell. In motion, many amoebozoans have a clearly defined anterior and posterior and may assume a monopodial form, with the entire cell functioning as a single pseudopod. Large pseudopods may produce numerous clear projections called subpseudopodia, or determinate pseudopodia, which are extended to a certain length and then retracted, either for the purpose of locomotion or food intake. A cell may also form multiple indeterminate pseudopodia, through which the entire contents of the cell flow in the direction of locomotion. These are more or less tubular and are mostly filled with granular endoplasm. The cell mass flows into a leading pseudopod, and the others ultimately retract, unless the organism changes direction, while most amoebozoans are naked, like the familiar amoeba and chaos, are covered with a loose coat of minute scales, like cochleopodium and coratnevella. Members of the order Arcelinida form rigid shells, or tests, equipped with a single aperture through which the pseudopods emerge. Arcelinid tests may be secreted from organic materials, as in arcella, or built up from collected particles cemented together, as in diffluhia. In all amoebozoa, the primary mode of nutrition is phagocytosis, in which the cell surrounds potential food particles with its pseudopods, sealing them into vacuoles within which they may be digested and absorbed. Some amoebozoans have a posterior bulb called a aroid, which may serve to accumulate waste, periodically detaching from the rest of the cell. When food is scarce, most species can form cysts, which may be carried aerially and introduce them to new environments. In slime molds, these structures are called spores, and form on stocked structures called fruiting bodies or sporangia. The majority of amoebozoa lack flagella and more generally do not form microtubule-supported structures except during mitosis. However, flagella do occur among the archamoebae, and many slime molds produce biflagellate gametes. The flagellum is generally anchored by a cone of microtubules, suggesting a close relationship to the episticants. The mitochondria in amoebozoan cells characteristically have branching tubular cristae. 
However, among the Archimibi, which are adapted to anoxic or microaerophilic habitats, mitochondria have been lost. Classification Place of amoebozoa in the eukaryote tree It appears based on molecular genetics that the members of amoebozoa form a sister group to animals and fungi, diverging from this lineage after it had split from the other groups. As illustrated below in a simplified diagram, strong similarities between amoebozoa and epistochants lead to the hypothesis that they form a distinct clade. Thomas Cavalier Smith proposed the name Unicons, formerly Uniconta, for this branch, whose members were believed to have been descended from a common ancestor possessing a single emergent flagellum rooted in one basal body. One, two, however, while the close relationship between amoebozoa and epistoconta is robustly supported, recent work has shown that the hypothesis of a uniciliate ancestor is probably false. In their revised classification of eukaryotes 2012, ADL et al. proposed amorphia as a more suitable name for a clade of approximately the same composition, a sister group to the diaphortics. More recent work places the members of amorphia together with the malawimonids and colodictionids in a proposed clade called opimoda, which comprises one of two major lineages diverging at the root of the eukaryote tree of life. Subphyla within amoebozoa, lobosa and canosa Traditionally all amoebozoa with lobos pseudopods were grouped together in the class Lobosia, placed with other amoeboids in the phylum Sarcodina or Rhizopoda, but these were considered to be unnatural groups. Structural and genetic studies identified the percolozoans and several archimibi as independent groups. In phylogenies based on rRNA their representatives were separate from other amoebae, and appeared to diverge near the base of eukaryotic evolution, as did most slime molds. However, revised trees by Cavalier Smith and Chow in 1996 suggested that the remaining lobozans do form a monophyletic group, to which the archimibi and mycetozoa were closely related, although the percolozoans were not. Subsequently, they amended the phylum amoebozoa to include both the subphylum lobosa and a new subphylum canosa, comprising the archimibi and the mycetozoa. Recent molecular genetic data appear to support this primary division of the amoebozoa into lobosa and canosa. The former, as defined by Cavalier Smith and his collaborators, consists largely of the classic lobosia, non flagellated amoebae with blunt, lobose pseudopods, amoeba, acanthamoeba, arcella, diffluhia, etc. The latter is made up of both amoeboid and flagellated cells, characteristically with more pointed or slightly branching subpseudopodia, archimibi and the mycetozoan slime molds. Phylogeny and taxonomy within amoebozoa Recent phylogeny indicates the lobosa are paraphyletic, canosa is sister of the kutosia. From older studies by Cavalier Smith, Chow and Lewis 2016 and Seiler 2016. Phylum amoebozoa Luhe 1913 amend. Cavalier Smith 1998, Amoeba Biota, Eumacetozoa Zoff 1884, Amend Olive 1975, Subphylum Lobosa Carpenter 1861, Superclass Kutosa Cavalier Smith 2016, Class Kutosia Cavalier Smith 2016, Order Squamacudita Cavalier Smith 2016, Superclass Glycopoda Cavalier Smith 2016, Class Tubulinia Smirnov et al. 2005 Amend. 2011, Lobosia, Carpenter 1861, Cavalier Smith 1993, Subclass Economibia Cavalier Smith 2016 Order Economiba de Cavalier Smith 2004 Amend. 2011 Subclass Leptomyxia Cavalier Smith 2016 Order Leptomyzida Pussard and Pons 1976 Amend. Page 1987 Subclass Neolobosia Cavalier Smith 2016 Superorder Trichosia Cavalier Smith 2016 Order Trichosida Mobius 1889 Superorder Eulobosia Cavalier Smith 2016 Order Uamoeba de Lepsi 1960 Amend. Cavalier Smith 2016 Order Arcelini de Kent 1880 Class Discosia Cavalier Smith 2004 M. Smirnov et al. 2011 Order Centromiba de Rogerson and Patterson 2002 Amend. Cavalier Smith, 2004 Order Hematismanida Page 1987 Cochleopodida, Order Thecamiba de Sheffer 1926 Amend. Smirnov and Cavalier Smith 2011 Order Dermamiba de Cavalier Smith 2004 Amend. 
Smirnov and Cavalier Smith 2011 Order Glycostyle to Cavalier Smith 2004 M. Cavalier Smith 2016, Flavolinia Smirnov et al., 2005, Subphylum Canosa Cavalier Smith 1998 Infrafilum Archimibi Cavalier Smith 1993 Stat. N. 1998 Class Archimibia Cavalier Smith 1983 Stat. N. 2004 Order Entamoeba de Cavalier Smith 1993 Order Polovianti de Page 1976 Amend. Cavalier Smith 1987 Infrafilum Semiconosia Cavalier Smith 2013 Order, Stereomyzi de Grel 1971 Order Artadissa de Cavalier Smith 2013 Order Ramamiba de Cavalier Smith 2016 Order Veripodi de Cavalier Smith 2004 Class Holomastiga Cavalier Smith 1996 Order Holomastigi de Lauterborn 1895 Class Phalansteria Cavalier Smith 2000 Order Phalansteria de Hibbard 1983 Class Protostelia Alexander Zopolis and Mims 1979, Protostelia Cavalier Olive 1970 Amend. Smith 2012, Order Protosteli to Olive and Stojanovic 1966 Amend. Shadwick and Spiegel 2012 Superclass Mycetozoa de Berry, 1859 X Rostofinsky, 1873 Order Protosporangi de Shadwick and Spiegel 2012 Order Echinosteliopsida Order Seratiomyzida Martin 1961 X Far and Alexopolis Class Dictyostelia Hawksworth et al. 1983, Dictyostela Olive 1970, Dictyostelia Olive 1975, Order Dictyostelita Lister 1909 Amend. All of 1970 Class Mixagastria of Fries, 1829 Stat. N. Cavalier Smith, 1993, Macromycetes Link 1833 Amend. Haeckel 1866, Gymnomycota, Superorder Lucis Poridia Cavalier Smith 2012 Order Lycida Jan 1928 Order Trichida McBride 1922 Superorder Columelidia Cavalier Smith 2012 Order Echinostelida Martin 1961 Order Fascisporida Cavalier Smith 2012 Fossil Record Vase Shaped Microfossils BSMs, discovered around the world show that amoebozoans have existed since the Neoproterozoic era. The fossil species Melanocerilium hexodiadema, Paleoarchella athenata, and Hemispheriella or not come from rocks 750 million years old. All three BSMs share a hemispherical shape, invaginated aperture, and regular indentations, that strongly resemble modern arselenids, which are shell-bearing amoeboids. P. athenata in particular looks the same as the extant genus Arcella. List of amoebozoan protozoa pathogenic to humans Entamoeba histolytica Acanthamoeba Balamuthia mandrillaris Endolimax Meiosis the recently available acanthamoeba genome sequence revealed several orthologs of genes employed in meiosis of sexual eukaryotes. These genes included SPO11, MRE11, RAD50, RAD51, RAD52, MND1, DMC1, MSH and MLH. This finding suggests that acanthamoeba is capable of some form of meiosis and may be able to undergo sexual reproduction. In sexually reproducing eukaryotes, homologous recombination HR, ordinarily occurs during meiosis. The meiosis-specific recombinus, DMC1, is required for efficient meiotic HR, and DMC1 is expressed in Entamoeba histolytica. The purified DMC1 from E. histolytica forms presynaptic filaments and catalyzes ATP-dependent homologous DNA pairing and DNA strand exchange over at least several thousand base pairs. The DNA pairing and strand exchange reactions are enhanced by the eukaryotic meiosis specific recombination accessory factor, heterodimer HOP2 MND1. These processes are central to meiotic recombination, suggesting that E. histolytica undergoes meiosis. Studies of entamoeba invadens found that during the conversion from the tetraploid uninucleate trophozoite to the tetranucleate cyst, homologous recombination is enhanced. Expression of genes with functions related to the major steps of meiotic recombination also increased during encystations. These findings in E. invadens, combined with evidence from studies of E. histolytica indicate the presence of meiosis in the entamoeba. 
Since amoebozoa diverged early from the eukaryotic family tree, these results also suggest that meiosis was present early in eukaryotic evolution. Human health Amoebiasis, also known as amoebiasis or entamoebiasis, is an infection caused by any of the amoebas of the entamoeba group. Symptoms are most common upon infection by entamoeba histolytica. Amoebiasis can present with no, mild, or severe symptoms. Symptoms may include abdominal pain, mild diarrhea, bloody diarrhea or severe colitis with tissue death and perforation. This last complication may cause peritonitis. People affected may develop anemia due to loss of blood. Invasion of the intestinal lining causes amoebic bloody diarrhea or amoebic colitis. If the parasite reaches the bloodstream it can spread through the body, most frequently ending up in the liver where it causes amoebic liver abscesses. Liver abscesses can occur without previous diarrhea. Cysts of entamoeba can survive for up to a month in soil or for up to 45 minutes under fingernails. It is important to differentiate between amoebiasis and bacterial colitis. The preferred diagnostic method is through fecal examination under microscope, but requires a skilled microscopist and may not be reliable when excluding infection. This method however may not be able to separate between specific types. Increased white blood cell count is present in severe cases, but not in mild ones. The most accurate test is for antibodies in the blood, but it may remain positive following treatment. Prevention of amoebiasis is by separating food and water from feces and by proper sanitation measures. There is no vaccine. There are two treatment options depending on the location of the infection. Amoebiasis in tissues is treated with either metronidazole, tinidazole, nitazoxanide, dehydroemetine or chloroquine, while luminal infection is treated with diloxanide ferroate or iodoquinoline. For treatment to be effective against all stages of the amoeba may require a combination of medications. Infections without symptoms do not require treatment but infected individuals can spread the parasite to others and treatment can be considered. Treatment of other entamoeba infections apart from E. histolytica is not needed. Amoebiasis is present all over the world. About 480 million people are infected with what appears to be E. histolytica and these result in the death of between 40,000 to 110,000 people every year. Most infections are now ascribed to E. dispar. E. dispar is more common in certain areas and symptomatic cases may be fewer than previously reported. The first case of amoebiasis was documented in 1875 and in 1891 the disease was described in detail, resulting in the terms amoebic dysentery and amoebic liver abscess. Further evidence from the Philippines in 1913 found that upon ingesting cysts of E. histolytica volunteers developed the disease. It has been known since 1897 that at least one non-disease-causing species of entamoeba existed, entamoeba coli, but it was first formally recognized by the WHO in 1997 that E. histolytica was two species, despite this having first been proposed in 1925. In addition to the now recognized E. dispar evidence shows there are at least two other species of entamoeba that look the same in humans, E. moshkovsky and entamoeba bangladeshi. The reason these species haven't been differentiated until recently is because of the reliance on appearance. Gallery See also Amoebozoa portal References Further reading External links Polowski J. Molecular Phylogeny of Amoeboid Protists Tree of Amoebozoa. Molecular Systematics Group MSG. Department of Zoology and Animal Biology, University of Geneva. Archived from the original on 2 January 2005. Keeling P. Leander B. S. Simpson A. Tree of Life Eukaryotes. Tree of Life Project. Lighty J. 1879. Amoeba Plates. Fresh Water Rhizopods of North America. Washington, D.C., Government Printing Office. Amoebozoa. NCBI Taxonomy Browser. 554915.